Hello, Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. Today we're going to show you the uh, 4D CAN software tool that I've developed. The 4D CAN software tool is designed for the Land Rover LR3 vehicle from uh, 2006 to 2009, the Ford manufactured model range of Land Rover vehicles. This software tool is paired with a very inexpensive Elm 327 hardware device. This is a very inexpensive tool. You can purchase it from me. You can purchase it from other online vendors, but it's paired specifically with this software that I have written and designed and that you can purchase a license from directly from me at my website www.rswsolutions.com. So the software works pretty straightforward. We've plugged in the Elm 327 device into our Windows PC. We've also plugged this device into my LR3 vehicle. So to begin, we agree to the license. There's one COM port detected right here. COM port 5, we connect to it. And when we connect, we'll see that uh, COM port 5 is open and the Elm 327 device has been detected. We move forward into the um, vehicle specific panel and we can see the different modules we can communicate with. Each one of these modules here, you can read and clear the fault codes on. So the air suspension module, we can open communications. We have some data here in the info window. We see uh, transmit and receive down here. We can read the fault codes. We don't have any fault codes in this computer. We can clear the fault codes and we can close. Uh, I believe I do have some fault codes on one of my other modules, the instrument module, so we can look and see how it actually returns fault codes. We open communications again. We read the fault codes. And you see I have a couple fault codes recorded. Clear the fault codes. We close communications. Now, uh, something else I've added, live data. There's a tremendous amount of live data here which reads sensor data from the vehicle and graphs it on the uh, screen here for you. So we can have, for example, the engine RPM as reported by the air suspension. We can call, begin the collection of the data. And you see our RPM is currently 670 or so. I can rev the engine, and uh, you'll see the RPM went up, and we can also see it graphed here. So that's a useful feature. You can also do this with vehicle speed, the ambient temperature, longitudinal, uh, and compressor volume uh, voltages. We have the same things here for the uh, transmission turbines. You see the transmission turbine, input turbine, output turbines. You can help diagnose transmission problems. Here's some of the engine live data. We have fuel rail temperature, you see all the viscous fan, viscous fan RPM, O2, fuel trims. So these are very useful for diagnosing certain problems with the vehicle. Now, save the best for last. Now I have a calibration module for the air suspension. Uh, first, it's very important you read and understand the instructions. You open communications and you can get the current vehicle heights and then you can modify them right here and write the new vehicle heights to your uh, system and change the different vehicle height profiles. I uh, will submit a video later detailing how to do that. So this is the uh, the uh, 40 can software tool. Here's some instructions. It's a great tool. It's been very useful. Um, and don't forget also every time you perform any of these operations, whether it be reading faults or live sensor data, there is a corresponding log that is created each day that you work with the tool. So here, just now, on September 6th, I uh, read the calibration profile, and we have the calibration settings that were read from the air suspension computer for future reference. If in case you make some modifications, you want to go back and change it, undo the operation you did, these were the original calibration settings. Um, the same goes for diagnostics. The diagnostics were, that were performed on today. Uh, here's where we read the air suspension faults, and here's where we read the instrument panel faults. So that's also useful. Also, there's the graphing data. Every time you uh, perform a live sensor graphing on the uh, live sensor data retrieval on the software, the raw data is recorded in a text file. So you could take this raw data and you could copy and paste it into perhaps an Excel spreadsheet and get a more detailed graph. You know, you could study it later. So hopefully these functions will also be useful to you. So this is again the 4D CAN software tool by my company, RSW Solutions. I wrote this software personally. 
and I designed it specifically for the Land Rover owner. Thank you for watching the video, and uh, send me any uh, questions through email. Thanks a lot.